All right, you guys, we're starting with the second floor system. So looking at replacing all of this, um, we have the ductwork going, the, like the painting going all the way up to the uh, floor joist. I'm gonna bring this down, allow our five inch filter, base, furnace, coil, supply plenum. PVC just needs to be modified. It goes out right to the side of the home. It is scheduled 40, so we're in good shape there. Line set we wanna replace, it makes a big circle around and then goes out. We just wanna run that nice and clean back to the unit. Same with thing with the electric, modify the gas, compensate drain, just has to go over and hit the actual floor drain. Um, and then the water heater for second floor, look at replacing this too. This is a 40 gallon natural gas water heater. Flue piping is just going up through the chimney. It's not catching a flue liner, so we will need a, a liner installed. We'll need to go with the shorter uh, version of the 40 gallon, just so we get the right height, because we'll probably pop right into that, um, the uh, six inch hole for the um, furnace, and then cap that one. Modify our gas again, new expansion tank, dielectrics, and fittings, and then Moving all over to the first floor, so a lot of modifications here. We want to look at getting this piece off and then putting a patch here and then recreating pretty much the same thing because we want to grab all of the return. Um, so we'll probably go 30 by 25. Come down, catch a 5 inch filter right in here, furnace, coil, supply, and we'll end up stopping right here where the slip and drive is. Probably put a patch there and then recut into that. Uh, and then it'll give us our airflow to here. Uh, we got another one that actually comes off the side. Uh, this is doing that as well. So like I said, if we stay right above that, we're in good shape. New condensate drain, again, running over to the floor drain. Line set, this will be in front now. Now will just run across. Uh, we can go front or back, but we'll have to come across. Meet up with the other one, and then just go off to the side of the home. Uh, we have basically four panels. There's actually two here and two behind here. Uh, just need to identify those correctly for the uh, furnaces and air conditioners. Um, this leads right out into the garage. Um, as far as combustion air, uh, I think the insurance company is definitely gonna allow us, because of combustion air, uh, to go high efficient on this one too. And that would only leave the water heaters uh, accounting for that. But we will need that flue liner drop. We're probably looking at a five inch flue liner uh, dropped behind here and then branch it off and hit into the water heaters. 